Steve and I were married in 1972. We have two sons and um, we have always been very, very active as a family and a couple. I set the county record in Bowling on December the 8th, 19th, and 1988. When Steve became ill, a lot of that came to a halt. He has medication-induced Parkinson's from taking the wrong medication. He couldn't walk, so he's going to have to have some sort of help in order to get through the day. In the last year, watching someone that was a very strong, healthy person lose the ability to do the things he loved to do most and then watching the depression set in on him as his wife and friend it was very difficult she suddenly had a husband that she'd been married to forever that couldn't stay home by himself at that time i would i could see that he was going to have a lot of challenges in his activities of daily living the first day he was not going he gets up and he says to me i'm not going she pulled up out front and I went out to meet him and greet them and my heart stopped a little bit. He was in a wheelchair and he didn't transfer very well. He didn't rise out of a chair well. Uh, he didn't walk hardly at all. And I'm sure at his young of age, he never dreamt he would be experiencing what he was experiencing and be where he was at. So Steve wasn't in the best of spirits, to say the least, when he came into the program. I mean, I hated it. I felt like I was being babysat. He gets there and the first thing they do is they take the little foot rests off the wheelchair and they make him use his legs to walk with. I told him, I said, you are young and you need to be working at this and getting your mobility back. You need to be an independent individual. They uh, did exercising. And I said, what's the world? I said, these old ladies and stuff like that, they were uh, jumping around and I, I couldn't get out of the wheelchair. They, <laughs> they hadn't had any, anybody as big as me and they had, they had a heck of a time. So we actually physically had to help him learn to move his legs in order to propel the wheelchair. Um, so just by the end of that first day when Jerry came to get him, he propelled himself to the door and to the car in his wheelchair. So we knew at that point that this man had some determination. Yeah, I wanted, to, I, wanted I, I told him I'd give him, give him a week. By the time the week he rolled out, I, I liked it. By the beginning of the following week, so he'd only been with us for five days and he kept working on that. He pulls up to the front of the building and goes to get out of the car and he's got a walker. And we were like blown away and so excited for him. Oh, I felt great. I felt like I conquered the world. Without them, I don't know that he would have gotten well because there's no way he could have been home by himself. And don't play bingo with the girls. Them little women, they just, they, they, they tickle me to death. Other participants love him. They call him Big Daddy. It's, it's like a family, and it's just wonderful. His whole life has just changed. So he's not home by himself and depressed. Steve now walks independently and, and gets around, and he's got his full sense of humor back, let me tell you. Oh, I feel 100%. 100% better. He's taught all of us that work there about the true determination of life and how to battle challenges that were faced each day with grace and a lot of faith in God and uh, a lot of love for other people.